We are joined now by Rachel Treisman, who is the beat reporter for faculty and academics. Rachel, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, what prompted the start of this committee? So, um, as we know, uh, Yale College Dean Jonathan Holloway sent an email at the beginning of Thanksgiving break that he will be leaving at the end of his academic year to serve as provost at Northwestern. Um, so someone needs to take his spot starting before the academic year next fall. Um, and yeah, that's why the search is beginning. So, the deanship is supposed to be a five-year term. Holloway's only served two. Um, so this is a pretty recent search after the last one. How did the Dean search work last time? Sure, yeah. Um, so the last time there was a search for Yale College Dean was in 2014. Um, and that was actually an interesting year because not only were they looking for a Dean, they were also looking for the Dean of the Graduate School of Arts and Sciences, who is Lynn Cooley. And they also had created the position of Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences here, which is Tamar Gendler. Um, and that position hadn't existed previously. So in 2014, they were actually looking for a Dean and then actually three deans at once. Um, so it made the process a little atypical, but I think um, the way that it worked is similar to how it's going to work now, which is um, they had a search committee which had faculty on it and I think uh, student representation of some sort, and they held various public meetings and online forums to get input from the community, and President Peter Salovey made the final say. Um. So, who will have a say in the process this time around? Um, I would guess that it's the same people. I would say student voices are really important and the administration knows that. Um, and I've talked to ICC President Peter Huang who said he's hoping that uh, because the Dean is a position that works closely with the students and the Yale College Council, um, they'll have some input. And I know that faculty are important, especially faculty of the Arts and Sciences. Um, and I know from the FAS Senate Chair Emily Greenwood that there's a committee on committees that would appoint faculty to serve on a search committee and of course I'm sure like Peter Salovey and other administrators would have um, decision-making powers at the end of the process. Um, can we expect anything different in the upcoming Dean search uh, as compared to the most recent one? Sure, yeah. So it's different because they're only looking to fill one position, so that I think should make it faster and easier in some ways. Uh, but the main difference, I think, from this year in 2014 is that new colleges are opening in the fall. Um, so that's a whole new area of responsibility for the Dean. It's a whole new set of concerns, a bigger student body. Um, and it's just an interesting time to be entering the position for sure, so I think they'll have that in mind when they're searching. And I also think with um, you know, the protests last fall and the concerns about race and inclusion and communication, um, I would hope and I would think that they're probably taking into account more so than usually um, how effectively the Dean will be able to communicate and work with students. Thanks for coming in, Rachel. Thanks for having me. From everyone at YTV, this has been Tommy Allen, and thanks for watching.